Us girls with all our stuff, our cleats and shin guards and ace bandages and headbands to keep our bangs back, our sports bras and spandex and everything else that preserves the body, the bones, our most promising tool, our expensive sneakers. I got mine at a place called Play It Again Sports, where rich kids sell their one season used Nike cleats with the side laces that claim a purpose they don't actually fulfill. Got long sleeves to wipe the sunscreen that bleeds into our eyes. Got a 15 second water break 10 minutes ago, and now we've got six miles around the golf course. That is supposed to be the color of money, but around here looks like horse food. Lauren passes me on the second loop, spits, and the wind sprays it in my face like some party bitch blowing mean confetti, and now my view is her blonde ponytail, whipping like a breakneck pendulum. Lauren, who says I smell like piss on a good day, is the only one who broke off. The rest of us are a cloud of bats circling the dead grass. It is three o'clock eight years into the drought, and when Jackie stops to vomit in the ditch, I hang back while she hacks up nothing. Next to us, nestled in the dirt, is a syringe and a rubber tie-off, a spoon bent in the shape of a daffodil, black tar burnt to the mouthpiece, scattered like an abandoned highway shrine. I swat her on the back, remind her of the college scholarship, the scouts and the ironed jerseys, all that money waiting for our feet.